on the road to the European elections. The next European elections will take place between the 22nd and 25th of May 2014. Each country is free to set their election day within this period. Every citizen of voting age in the European Union will be able to elect the politicians they would like to represent them at European level. These are the members of the European Parliament, or MEPs. The Parliament is the only European institution whose members are directly elected by citizens. But not all citizens exercise their right to vote. It is only compulsory to vote in four countries. Everywhere else, it's currently optional. Thus, in 2009, the average turnout in Europe was 43%. But if we look more in detail, we can see that the rate varies from one country to another. In Slovakia, for example, one in five voters cast their vote. However, even though the vote is not compulsory in Malta, 80% turned out, and over 65% of Italians voted. There are some rules which apply across the EU. Since 1979, MEPs are elected every five years by direct universal suffrage. That is, citizens choose them directly. The EU-wide minimum voting age is 18, with the exception of Austria, where it is 16. Elections are secret. The aim is to appoint the 751 MEPs who will make up the European Parliament for the next five years. They represent the interests of all of Europe's citizens. The number of MEPs per member state is proportional to its population size. However, there is a minimum of six MEPs per country and a maximum of 96. The means of standing as candidate and the minimum age to run for election varies between countries. 21 in Belgium, 23 in France and 18 in the rest of Europe. Once elected, each MEP joins a European political group according to his or her political view. With the new balance of power in the Parliament's hemicycle decided, the work can commence for those representing Europe's citizens.